I'm Shara. Welcome to Readings. Fire and Water. What's coming towards you for the end of October? Is there something coming towards you? Is it going to be quiet? What's happening? Fire and Water. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome back, subscribers. Thanks for joining me. Fire signs, Aries. Aries. Could be dealing with another Aries. Someone's making a decision. Aries, I don't know if this is you. No, it's not you. Oh, wow. Aries, get ready. Get ready. Very, very strong. Just comment out. I mean, you can't make it up. Very, very strong. We got someone in decision. Someone wants to come forth and make a huge offer. Wants to start again. Um, some kind of a compliment coming in. Somebody wants to work on this. Somebody sees you in a whole brand new light as a soul, soulmate, lovers. Um, I have a very strong connection here. No communication right now. Someone refused your cup. Someone had a lot of something going on up here when they left. And they left. And when I got walking away and left out in the cold, they left. They just ghosted. Gone. Just gone. But the whole time they didn't leave. But the energy felt like they're, they're gone. Whoever this is, Aries, a wish fulfillment card. There's something coming in here. Someone's healing, waiting, waiting, but there's no doubt in my mind. Someone's bringing a cup of love. That's coming for October. Somebody's looking back. This is someone who really ghosted the crap out of you, Aries. Somebody really, really just left out of the blue. Just gone, not a word. Just left you. But now coming back, uh, this person might have been married, had all kinds of stuff going on, had a double life. Could have been dealing with Taurus also. I got Aries, Sedge, uh, Cup Energy. Could be an age difference. And I have a Taurus. Person's coming back though. And what I see though, got a Pisces too. Wow. Just all of a sudden, the brand new love. It's like brand new and wanting to marry you. Almost like brand new. Wow. And somebody feeling a lot of guilt. Hell of a lot of guilt. Wow. Aries, get ready. Get ready. That sounds like you. Someone's coming. If not in the month of October, very, very shortly after. Definitely before Christmas, someone's coming there. Leo. Leo. One cut. Leo. Immediately you get some conversation coming in from a soulmate, from a lover. Somebody that's been very patient or you've been very patient with this person. Someone who might have been living with you. Somebody that you might have celebrated with. Someone that also might have had some options. Someone that might have had some options. Here's what happened to them. This is someone of in jail or in bondage of some sort. Well, in some sort of bondage in a, again, as Aries, as, as Aries, uh, somebody might have been trapped in a, uh, a, a marriage. Well, they left. They left. And they left hard. Cold energy here. Cold. I got a cold heart here. I don't know who you're dealing with, Leo. I got a cold heart here. This sounds like you're reading, you know, this energy is going to come back. 
they're tending their garden right now, preparing themselves. But again, I got this sneaky, 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 sneak. Uh, trying to find the balance to come back, what to say, what to do. And I have a Leo that is very much looking back at them. There's a possibility you will take them back to Gemini here. There's a possibility you might take them back. Uh, there is a possible ending to a happy home, but I really feel that it's not. I feel very much, Leo, you're going to take this person back. I'm going to have to tell you to be very, very wary. Because this person is the same wolf that left. The, the love, I feel a very cold-hearted person here. And someone who never really told the truth. Someone who had options. A very brutal reading here, my darling. A lot of heartache. Now you want to heal or you want to continue on and keep scarring that poor heart of yours? That's up to you. But I really, I got a cold energy there. Don't like it. Don't like it at all, Leo. I'm sorry. But that's what I have. Sagittarius. Sag, got some Sages out there. Sag, one cut. Oh, that was a skinny cut. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could be dealing with a Pisces. Somebody's watching you, darling. Somebody is watching, letting go of the nightmare. Somebody wants to come take a leap. Uh, it's only a matter of time. Only a matter of time. There's a lot of passion here. They see you as passion. You know what? This person's not really looking back, Sag, on, on, on the things that happened. Because what I got is this person's releasing the nightmare. Uh, and this person's passion is to start uh, to pick up the two cups instead of running with them. Um, instead of looking back at what used to happen or what happened. Um, bringing the two cups to you and saying, let's start again and... Let's fill these cups up better than we filled up those other three. So this is someone who wants to fill up those two cups with you. And they're finding balance. Don't quite know how to bring it to you. A person could have had some options, but let's wrap some cards around it. They could have. Um, this person could have um, celebrated with another. Could have been married to another have been living with another uh that has ended drastically drastically um coming forth to give you some sort of a loving soulmate um compliment some loving soulmate compliment like uh things have well there you go like things haven't been the same since i left you is what i've got here said Oh, and this person's willing to tell you the truth. Um, double aces upright. This person's willing to tell you the truth. And before that, I've got a soulmate connection. This is beautiful, Sag. This is someone that wants equal give and take. Now I've got Libra that just walked in the house. And I've got King Fish that just wanted to walk in the house. But this person is really holding things close to their chest right now. Um, could be dealing with... Um, uh, Taurus, Pisces, Aquarius, mm. Gemini, King of Love, Pisces, uh, Libra, another Sag, and a Capricorn. But that's what I got there for you, Sag. Wow. Spectacular love. It, it, it's like it explodes Romeo and Juliet style at the very end there. Water signs. Cancer. 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 Ruled by the moon. Mm. Cancer. Cancer. Feeling not too good right now, but you're looking at possibility feeling not too good right now but all of a sudden looking at some sort of possibility 
looking at blessings that you didn't see quite before. Uh, some sort of gift that you want to take to somebody. Some sort of gift. Gift of the tongue or an actual gift. And that gift is an offer of uh, well, taking care of yourself, Cancer. Taking care of yourself. Weeding the garden, tending the garden. Uh, taking care of yourself. You could be dealing here with a Pisces. Pisces. You could have been married to this Pisces or you lived with this Pisces. You want to bring this Pisces an offer. Uh, I think I think you walked out on this Pisces is what I feel very much. I think you might have been living with a Pisces. And you walked out. I have a family here. Wow, not very often I see that. I have a family here. I got a child in the middle here. Right now I don't have any communication, but I have someone doing a hell of a lot of thinking, Cancer. Hell of a lot of thinking. Look at this, celebrating. My God. My God. Look at this. Okay, Cancer, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to go any further in case I ruin it. Cup of love coming in, the truth. Uh, I, I feel, Cancer, that you're either taking this, you want equal give and take. Um, I feel very much that you will be with your person very, very soon. That things are, if there's a child involved especially, I really think that um, it's, wow, it's good. It's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. Not good right now, but it's it's good. Uh, I have Sagittarius. I have Capricorn. I have Pisces. I have Swords. Air signs. Uh, I have an age difference. I have a child. I've got a child here. Child, children. I, I just... This is good. This is really good. This, this is going to be like... Uh, Massive Christmas gift. Uh, a very... Well, it doesn't happen this month. Uh, what I have is a very good... Uh, merry, merry Christmas. Like, a, a, a actually picked up on a family. Uh, who was that? Cancer. I actually picked up on a family. Um, just reuniting. Uh, happiness and smiles and... Wow. Just... Just warm, beautiful feeling. Merry Christmas. Santa Claus has come to town. Damn, Scorpio. One cut. Scorp. Let's go, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Libra. Could be picking up your darn sword, too. You thought you had some balance with someone, and someone was um, um, not what you expected them to be. They left. They ghosted. Or you left. They ghosted. Again, some sort of marriage. Someone took a leap towards a possible marriage. Hmm. Hmm. Some kind of... Uh, this was some sort of a home thing. Uh, two people sharing a roof. Scorpio, two people sharing a roof or a possibility of in the very near future of sharing a roof before they left or before you left. But you felt uh, almost like you couldn't speak your peace around this person. Uh, so almost like walking on rice paper around them or they felt that around you. Like they were walking on rice paper and so they refuse the cup. Somebody might have had some kind of sneaky behavior here, Scorpio. Because uh, I got a sneak, but I got uh, feeling regretful for whatever happened. Uh, I, I feel that this might have been uh, either a dominant person who made you feel like you kind of had no say. 
or uh, you try to uh, not make waves to keep them happy and not get them upset over something. <laughs> you know how Shar feels about that stuff, don't you? But I, I do feel that someone's feeling regretful. Someone wants to take a leap. Could have been dealing with a Pisces. Very odd for a Pisces to behave that way. Uh, Pisces can be, you know, temperamental, but I don't think they can be kind of brutal like that. I do feel, however, oh, this is a soulmate connection. This is somebody that lived with you. Uh, this is someone who holds their, their emotions all wrapped up inside. This is someone who just shows kind of uh, a hard exterior, hard-ass exterior. Um, again, I got Pisces. Um, I would be careful around this energy. I do feel that they that they, they will tell you um, I'm doing better. Um, I won't behave like that again. Um, let's get together. Uh, there is let's have equal give and take. Um, let's work on it. And I really do feel a big age difference here too. Uh, I really do feel um, if you do tread on that path again, it may lead to more heartache. Uh, that's what I got. Um, sorry, Scorpio. That's what I got. Oh, God. I'm sorry, Scorp. But listen to your intuition. Please listen to your intuition. Pisces. Pisces. I see. I see. I see. Immediately. Soul connection. Soulmate lovers. Be dealing with a Sagittarius. Someone's coming towards you, but they're keeping it very on, very much on low key. Someone's not speaking to you at all. Somebody probably ghosting or just not talking. You could also have them blocked. Some kind of a leap coming towards you. I really believe that this person might have had options with passion. They might have had options with passion, but now there's something going on here. This person's have a complete turnaround. Uh, looking at Pisces now, like uh, my wish fulfillment and my home. Why? There's some kind of manifesting going on here, Pisces. Somebody is feeling some kind of regret. What the hell did this person do? This person borrow money? Person put you in debt or something here? I, I got a lot of money showing up here. A person put you in debt? Person did something steal from you or something they really took your confidence away they really did Pisces and not, and spying on you not coming forward not accepting the cup not coming forward but spying on you <sighs> having a lot of patience because they're waiting for you to come to them waiting for you to come to them and you know what the problem is is that they're all up in them all up in them all up in their emotions and all up in their mind, scared to death, and feeling a lot of insecurities and stuff because they believe, look, they believe that uh, Pisces moved on. They believe that Pisces not thinking about them. Uh, nope, nope. <laughs> Backtrack. I'm looking at the cards wrong. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. This is someone uh, who feels very much that Pisces may be looking back too. But there's some sort of, uh, again, again, regret. This person did something to you, Pisces. Look, regret, regret. This person either stole from you, uh, put you into some kind of debt, put you in extreme turmoil of some sort, wanting to come forward now, wanting equal give and take, wanting to make things better in the home. Oh, crap almighty, Pisces. This person wants to move in, look out. This person's finding some kind of stability. Could be dealing with Gemini. This person is also wanting to bring in some sort of an offer. Wanting to work on it. 
let's celebrate let's let's get together let's try again let's do this uh you know what i'm going to tell you is uh watch out if this sounds like you watch out because uh even though this person's got all these giddy feelings for you right now i really do feel that this person has options in passion this may be, uh, I hate to say the word, but it could be some sort of a player. Some sort of a player. Someone that really just wants to, uh, and, and wanting to move in so quickly. It could be someone that's, uh, I don't know, lost their home or got booted out of wherever they were. And is um, using their passionate um, options. Uh, going from one to the other kind of thing. Uh, another another energy I really don't care for. I see use your intuition. You are the high priestess. Use your intuition. That's a horrible freaking reading. So, Halloween night, what are you going to be doing? <laughs> Thank you for joining me tonight. I hope some of those resonate and I hope some of them don't. Namaste.